What is up, Coronacation? This is day 37. This is crazy. We're almost to 40. Hey, but yesterday was a very cool day. Cisco, thank you so much for sharing the word with us. And Victor, that dance, man. You, I got to see more moves, man. You think you can teach us some more of that? I hope so. Hey, um, so today I found this old video of Corey and Heath um, and it's about humility and I think that fits perfect in this month. So you guys check this out and we will be back. I've got an excellent game to play. Yes, this game will make you smile and the contestants slimy. Come on out here contestants. I just wanted to tell you, thank you for agreeing to play this game with me. You're welcome. Besides today, we are talking about humility and you specifically asked us to put others first by playing your game. What does that even mean? Well, I'm glad you asked, but don't worry about it. Since you volunteered to play, I guess we should get started. We're gonna play a quick game called Egg Roulette. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. What did we agree to do? Oh, the kids will love this game and you're gonna be putting them first by playing. So let's begin. The way the game works is you're gonna pick up an egg, any egg, actually I'm gonna pick up the egg for you and then smash it on your head. But here's the thing, half of the eggs are hard boiled and then the other half are not hard boiled at all. They're just slimy and nasty. So, which means that you are gonna bust it on your head. If it's slimy, you get slime. If it's hard boiled, you're good to go. Um, I, I have a meeting. I, I need uh, to run yeah. to. I'll catch you later. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, no, but you agreed to put these kids first. Come on, man. Think of the kids. Okay, let's play. Yeah. Okay, who wants to go first? <laughs> Keith, it's, it's your game. Why don't you show us how it's done? No, no, no. I insist. Remember, humility is putting others first. So how about you go first? You got this. Oh, yeah! Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's, that's pretty crazy, guys. What did you think about that, huh? Okay, he, you're next. Okay. Egg me. Good luck. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, egg. Be good to me. Oh! Whoa. oh. Yeah! <laughs> I oh. win! I went in! <laughs> oh, Keith, you did a good job. Well, you allowed us both to play, so I think it's your turn, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, I'll get this one right here. Oh! <laughs> oh man! Three oh, for three. That's oh. Oh, oh well, you proved that uh, you're no chicken. Neither am I. So even if you were just winging it, <laughs> here's your prizes. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh all right. Thank you for playing and check out our next video. Okay, good morning, um, boys and girls. Uh, today, I want to share with you an experiment that is gonna show you about God's love for you. You see, God sent his one son, Jesus, to die for you. And in doing that, he took away all your sin and he put him on himself. Remember, sin is anything you think, say, or do that doesn't please God. Y'all do that with me. Anything you think, say, or do that doesn't please God. And um, today to show you this, we're gonna do a science experiment, okay? So this is you, this penny, this shiny little penny. And I'm gonna put you on this plate, okay? This red water represents our sin, okay? And we all have sin. We all have thought, said, or done something that doesn't make God happy, and that separates us from God. So we are, we're gonna cover the penny with sin, because the penny, remember, represents us. So now the penny is covered with red water, 
All right. Now we have a candle, a white candle, and this candle represents Jesus. Okay, so we're going to put Jesus in the world with us, just like Jesus came to the world with us. We're going to put him in here. And we know that Jesus is the light of the world. The Bible tells us he is the light in the darkness. He came to save us. So he is the light of the world. Now, this jar represents what he did for us on the cross. And that's what we celebrate this week. As we move towards next Sunday, Easter Sunday, we're celebrating that he died for our sin. All of it he took on himself so that we can be forgiven every single day. He covered our sin, and now we're going to see what happened to us when Jesus took our sin upon himself. Let's hope it works, right, guys? Oh, there goes. You see, Jesus took all our sin at the cross, and he continues to do this every single day of your life, boys and girls. So now, the penny is no longer covered, and all of the sin is in here with Jesus. He took it on himself. Do now, please. I'm gonna pray for us, and I want you to think about what you learned today with this experiment. You learned that you think, say, and do things that do not please God. And you learned that God sent his one son, Jesus, to die on the cross for you, to take your sin away. He took all that sin on himself for you. And you learned that now, you're forgiven and you're washed clean because Jesus loves you that much. And God's Bible, the Bible, God's word, is a story about how he wanted to redeem us and he wanted to make us clean again. And through Jesus, this promise was made true. I hope you guys have a great week and I hope you learned a little something today about how Jesus loves you. I'm gonna pray for you and then I'll say goodbye. Lord God, thank you so much for every child, Lord, out there who's listening to this. I pray, Lord, that you would show them in their hearts, Lord, who you are and how much you love them. And maybe this visual, Lord, will mean something to them and show them, Lord, um, in a new way, uh, the good news that your son Jesus came to live and die and rise from the dead, Lord, just for our salvation. Lord, we love you so much. We praise you and um, we thank you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys. Hey, my name is Porter and my name is Porter and I go to City Station and All Stars with y'all. And some of y'all might know me, but I have a challenge for you. And it, the challenge is to, to say any verse in the Bible, any verse in the Bible and say it without looking at the Bible. And I made a verse, and it was 2 Corinthians 10.5. And I'll say it right now. We demolish, we demolish argument and every pretension that sets itself up, up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive in every thought to make it obedient to the Christ. And that's it. Bye. Andrew, Coronation. Let's play a game back by popular demand. You'd have to go all the way back to day 12 we're going to play version two of the game screaming goat or Ooh, fainting goat and so like andrew this. you're going to watch a video there's going to be a goat doing something and you need to vote if you think it is screaming or if it is fainting play along with him at home let's see if you can beat andrew in the second round of screaming goat fainting goat oh yes <laughs> I love this game. Fainting goat. The slide spirit. Fainting goat. Yo. There's one. Alright. Got one right. Screaming goat. Go with screaming goat.
got two wrong, two right. <laughs>some screaming and fainting goats they're fun hey i'm curious to see what you guys do hey we will uh we will see you guys tomorrow love you guys